As more and more blocks find their way into Minecraft, many new uses are added into the game. Each block arguably has its own use, whether it be strictly for decoration purposes or whether it be used for something specific. With hundreds of blocks and items in the game, many of these tend to be overlooked and underappreciated. In this video, we'll be talking about what I think are the top 5 most useful blocks in survival Minecraft. Because of this, don't expect to see items such as command blocks or structure blocks, because this is strictly for for survival. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So starting off our list is Obsidian. Obsidian is a pretty useful block in Minecraft and it definitely should be for how long it takes you to mine it out. Obsidian has survival mode's highest explosion resistance in a block, meaning that TNT and other exploding objects will have quite a difficult time blowing it up. On top of being Bedrock's little brother though, Obsidian can also be used to create a portal, and when activated with a flint and steel, you'll gain access to the nether. This hellish dimension will allow you to obtain items within specific structures and areas exclusive to the nether. If you bring enough obsidian with you into the nether to create another portal, you can travel a large distance in the overworld in a short amount of time. For each block that you walk in the nether, you will walk 8 blocks in the overworld, running a large distance in the nether, then creating a second portal, then leaving through the new nether portal will bring you to an area quite far from your starting location, depending on how far you traveled from your original spawning location. You should definitely give that a try if you haven't already. On top of getting you to faraway places, Obsidian also has a few more uses, namely crafting other extremely useful blocks. One of these blocks that utilizes Obsidian is number 4 on our list, which is a beacon. Beacons have specifically two functions, one creating a beam of light in the sky being visible from really far away distances, and two giving a player powers within a specific radius depending on how big the pyramid under it is. The beam of light's color can also be changed with a stained glass block or pane so you can remember what beacon gives off what power or you can remember which beacons leads to which location or whatever reason you'd like. These powers can allow players to run faster, mine faster, take less damage, jump higher, deal more damage, and regain health. The larger the pyramid under the beacon, the more buffs that you can utilize within the designated range. If you've got a base of operations, this block can prove to be super useful for dealing with any problem that may arise. Like the beacon, our third block is also crafted with obsidian. The enchantment table is absolutely great and serves one main purpose. Enchant armor, tools, books, weapons, and well, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Aside from enchanting, the levels and experience that you gain have no purpose, so they may as well be used here. Enchanting items can definitely help you out and can arguably make your experience in playing Minecraft much better and much easier. Enchantments like fire protection, frost Walker, Fortune, and more can make Minecraft feel like child's play almost, especially when you get an extremely overpowered enchantment. Being able to create enchanted books on an enchantment table also makes the enchantment table even more important. Being able to pick and choose which enchantments you'd like to put on your item without getting a bad one on a resource heavy item is a huge plus. With these books, your items, and a few levels, you can make anything that you'll be happy with. Our second most useful block in Minecraft is the Ender Chest. If you know Minecraft well enough, you'll probably be sensing a pattern with this list. Like the beacon and enchantment table, this block too is crafted with obsidian. The Ender Chest is a lifesaver, especially with the recent addition of Shulker Boxes. Like chests, 27 storage spaces for items and blocks are inside the Ender Chest. Using Shulker Boxes with an Ender Chest though changes everything. If you're lucky enough to get 27 Shulker Boxes, to fill every single slot in the ender chest, you'll have a whopping total of 702 extra slots of inventory at your disposal, wherever you are aside from your own inventory. Never before have we been able to take nearly all of our belongings with us, but now you can, with zero repercussions if you die, if all of your important items are inside of your ender chests. You'll just want to be able to get access to another ender chest to access your belongings if you only have one and you died with it. If you plan on trying out this massive inventory trick, a word of advice is to carry around a pickaxe with silk touch. If you break the ender chest without that enchantment, you'll only receive 8 obsidian but no eye of ender, meaning you'll have to get a second eye of ender to create a new ender chest. And the last thing that you want to do is lose access to all of your valuable items. 
So after a long wait, we're finally at the most useful block in Minecraft, and you probably weren't expecting this one. The most important block in Minecraft survival is easily wood. Yep, just regular, plain old wood. In Minecraft, wood is the foundation of creating almost every single tool, item, and block at your disposal. To craft anything in a 3x3 grid, you need a crafting table, which is made of wood. Want torches? Better find some sticks. Don't have coal? Well, that's fine. Make charcoal with more wood. Need a pickaxe? Use wood. Need a quick first shelter? Find a tree, chop it down, make some planks, and get building. Wood is a very seriously overlooked block in Minecraft and is needed to make just about anything important. Without it as a basis and as a very much needed first block, Minecraft would be an extremely different game because it's almost everywhere to be found in the overworld. You probably didn't expect it to be number one on this list, but this list is most useful blocks, so it's number one. I think I speak for mostly everybody when I say, thanks trees. So what do you think of these blocks? Do you agree with our list? Maybe there's something that you know about that we didn't think of. Let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself, Mike, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.